Okay. Okay. Hey, this is not a spring chicken. As you can see, well, we still have the marine layer, which turns it all into, uh, okay, one big blob. As you can see from, it, at least we'll give you some nice palm trees to look at. Because we still here are, oh, we still are here in Southern California. And we're here with Old Camper OF and our news video web with comments on the headlines of today. And it must be Wednesday because homes are selling in record amounts and banks are throwing loans money around to get you in one. Yeah, according, yeah right. according to the people this morning that the 20% is not only not needed, neither is the lower 3%. And they said that they'll put you in like it was the old days with no verification. Now, I'm going to tell you, nobody bought that this morning. Absolutely no one. I mean, if that was true, you'd find some very happy people. Well, we'd be in a new home this afternoon. I think we should be, don't you think? Uh, I know. We're going we're gonna to bring what the government said is the reason why we should get a new home. I know. <laughs> well, because they said the home uh, mortgages have never been a better deal. And, uh, and because they are a better, you know, that, and the rates are, but see, the problem is tomorrow will be Thursday. And on Thursday, the National Board of Realtors always changes their estimates. We're selling five million homes a year. We're not. Mm -hmm. And Democrats demanding new taxes and more stimulus spending. I know they uh, they they didn't get the memo. Uh, you know, as other people have put the United States on a negative watch now. They 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 they've told the United States stop spending. Well, well, you show you example how little Congress is paying any attention to anything. The Democrats basically appointed people to the left who aren't going to uh, stop spending, and the Republicans invited the people from the, from the moderate side, which means there's no deficit hawks appointed by anybody, which means no deficit hawks means they're going to simply raise taxes, folks, and increase spending. So, Well, the Democrats are demanding new taxes. Well, yeah, because they said, this is what I heard him say this morning. The problem was is that Obama didn't go big enough. The, the, the Democrats are really pissed off at him. They said he didn't spend enough money and that he let the Republicans, you know, uh, basically put him on the bus and chase him out of town. No. The guy got everything but the Republicans' yeah, underwear. Where did they figure that? Every time Obama has wanted more social spending, he only had the, he always knew he had social, Susan Collins, Olympia Snow, and Scott Brown in his back pocket. He only had to have one more senator to get more spending done, folks. That's how it works. I mean, he, he got his three trillion dollars in new spending and didn't have to give up anything in return. So you know, I love that. I remember Scott Brown saying that he was not going to be a rubber stamp for the president. He's a he's a down, he's a he's a liberal Republican, and liberal Republicans want to spend money on social programs. That's how that works, folks. He, you know what? He just can't help it. What can he say? Well, they said he's not going to get a, he's not going to get Republican support for re-election. They said, well, if you don't, Republicans are going to be eating their own. Well, no, if you replace a liberal Republican with a liberal Democrat, you still have a liberal. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference? That's right. Well, maybe sometimes, but you know, since he goes on their side anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and Republican senators face recall elections in Wisconsin. Yeah, and the, uh, they uh, not only beat off the recall, there's a good chance the Democrats will lose two seats next week. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, they said uh, 30 some million dollars was spent by the unions to, to, to throw the Republicans out. Republicans lost two, of their, um, lost two of their six seats, and they only lost them in areas that were heavily Democratic to begin with. I mean, we're in areas, we realize that that the, this didn't affect anybody but the pri but the public sector workers. But I'm a I'm a union man, and if they can do this to the public sector workers, they can do it to us. No, they, but they can't. still lost two seats, though. I know it. They lost two seats, but they kept four. Oh, well, that actually. Which meant they kept control, and they said the Democrats are expected to lose both of the seats that are up for. Uh, oh. their, their, you know, so it didn't work. Plus, the Republicans kept their uh, Supreme Court justice. Uh, who didn't get recalls, so it, they said it was a bad day for the Democrats because the public, they said the public will elect a Democrat in a democratically controlled area. 
Oh. And that's the only way. They're not going to re put them out if the area is in democratic to begin with. So. And we need green energy and jobs to turn the economy around. The, 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 uh, I mean, the, the, the harping on the same bloody thing. There is no green energy job. Green, okay, Spain is going, Spain is in collapse because they lost three three regular jobs for every green job that was created and they think they said they had to um, they had to subsidize all the green energy because nobody wants it it's too expensive and they don't have the infrastructure and they won't have it for decades well that's Obama well if we build the infrastructure well then people well then what was it they uh, we read the green we had the green energy thing I said they're like 11 trillion dollars to put the infrastructure in do you know where anybody has a spare 11 trillion at the moment? That's just in the United States. And violence flares outside London and British media criticize. Oh, the the people on the left in our country are saying that uh, the you know the British government knew this was coming because they were making people suffer in their country by uh, making them co-pay for health care, by cutting back on social services benefits. It's called the country is broke, and what's happening is they're you imagine? I mean, I, I heard Bob. I, there's no excuse for what they were doing, but I have to understand and grieve with those people that have been mistreated by their government. Um, they don't have any money in the country. The country is broke. Socialism does not work. Nowhere in the world does it work. You know. So, but uh, you know, Obama is the last bastion of socialist in the world, I guess, though. And the left press very critical of Obama as he refuses to. Well, yeah, they said leadership would bid to simply did the budget all on his own, to not pay any attention to what the other party is doing, and to outlaw the Tea Party as being un-American. That's called against the that's called against the Constitution, folks. He's an elected official, and uh, you just simply don't decide to be a dictator. They but that's they said I love that Julius Caesar would have known how to do. This was from one of the Demo one of the Democratic newsmen yesterday. He would have known how to handle it. And then one of the interviewers said, yeah, and Caesar got killed for doing it. But he said at least he did what was right. Isn't that something? Uh, and Sony loses its warehouse in London. Oh, yeah. The uh, they said that, um, and who was it that took the biggest hit? It wasn't Sony. It was insured. It was the 150 little record labels that worked out of the building. Oh, no. Yeah, all the music, you know, that those people that are rioting were playing last, when they've been rioting. Oh. Yeah, all of those are gone and there's not going to be any replacement because those companies can't, you know, they, they don't. They can't even, afford it. They can't afford to bring people, you know, to do it all over again, so. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, but that's what the problem is. I mean, here's the, here's the bad part is you probably thought they were just getting Sony. Yeah, right. I know, but this is, we're going to get those people. Well, those people, unfortunately, uh, it's just like a Bill O'Reilly. Those gang, those Wall Street gangsters, those insurance company gangsters, those oil company gangsters. Well, those people actually are owned by the people. Those companies are owned by the people. Bill O'Reilly's mother, oh, you know, mm -hmm. is involved in those things. His, you know, his his retirement pensions are all involved in that. Everybody is involved in all those companies he said are gangsters. And the left press very critical of Obama as he refuses to leave. Yeah, she liked that one so much she done it twice. Well, you know, because sometimes they don't really... <laughs> I know. See, I actually pay attention. I'm the old one. I know. And Syrians mark bleak Ramadan after 80 killed in Hama. Well, and, you know, the, well, the uh, Muslim world is being highly critical of the, of the Syrians. But the problem is Assad has lots of money. And when you have lots of money and you don't have to borrow money from people, wow. and you, you don't can, have to go to the printing press, you already have the And money. you can pay cash for all the weapons you're getting from China and the Soviet Union, and that you're a supporter of Hezbollah, and you're a supporter of Iran, do you think that there's going to be many problems for it? Uh, they said that giving them the lecture is not going to work, folks. And Fox pulls Facebook post after death threats aimed at guests. Oh, I know. I mean, people cannot say anything anymore without um, somebody. If you're, they do not like people saying anything negative about Democrats. If you, and this is how it works. If you're, a, if you're Republican and you say something, they threaten to kill you. If you're a Democrat and say something, they cheer you for it. So, isn't that something? Oh, speaking of, I did hear something about that Newsweek cover. With oh, Michelle it's being Bachman. it's being universally condemned by yeah, by. 
the left comics, John Stewart condemned it. He said, yeah, he said, like, anybody recognize those Photoshop eyes from a Looney Tunes commercial? I know, they said they were from what, Miss Piggy? Yeah, they were from Porky Pig. Porky Pig. And then they, uh, which was trying to make a statement about her, and that the uh, National Organization of Women has now said it has went, they said the photo went too far, way mm -hmm. too far, so. Well, guess what? I think it'll uh, get more support from Michelle Bachman. Yeah, well, that's what they figured it, though. Anna Monte Bubble is the marker of the animal kingdom. Okay, when you elect one that has absolutely no experience to head a business, you can expect he doesn't know what he's going to be doing. Duh!